YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from Tiffy Butter. Today I have a, another bullet journal related video for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to do a wrap up on my bullet journal. <laughs> is it called wrap up? Anyway, I start my I started my bullet journal in July and now it's September. <clears throat> so it's like um quarter of the year so this is my bullet journal this is the that's the brand Lotion 1917 says the medium gray in dot I will show you so yep it's just like this it's just normal dotted paper and the paper quality is amazing I really love this so much and it has the page number in the corner and at the back has a little pocket and inside the pocket I just have um, some stickers and receipt and and this is the um, the sticker paper sticker sheet that comes with the notebook so I just tuck it at the back so when I finish this journal I can just tuck it um, like label it on the sign or something just emphasize the year um, so this is my bullet journal. I decorate the cover by myself with washi tape, stickers, and some doodle. This doodle is inspired by um, Study Rose. I will link her video down below. You will see um, I've got a lot of inspiration and ideas from her. She is amazing. I just love her video so much. And I also follow her on Instagram. And then those labels are from Daiso, I believe. So I just indicate the month, August, uh, July, August, and September. So let's dive in. Oh, by the way, it's hardcover. So um, on the cover, I just have a couple of sticky notes. I use sticky notes not a lot, but I do use them. So in order to keep it handy, I just put it there. And here is the name section, the adjusts section. I just write out my name. I didn't write out my the addresses, and I have a little sticker that I make by myself in the center, and it says Monday. And I don't know why it's Monday because Monday actually is my scheduled day off. So Monday is my lucky day. I love Monday the most, and Monday also I don't know represent the start of the week. Um, so yeah, I just wrote out Monday. I know that's stupid, but yeah, it just means something to me. And then flip over, you have your content, um, like your topics and pages number, and it's all updated. Now it's September. I started from July, and from page one to page seven is all different kinds of future log and things like that. Actually, I didn't do future log, but <clears throat> probably I would try that in my next bullet journal. Um, it won't be a while. <laughs> Okay, flip over is more in that um, pages. And then here is my first um, page of 2017. So basically I just this is the what they call monthly or month monthly future log or something. Just a calendar from January to December basically. But I started like halfway um, but I still jot it down. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do for my next uh, bullet journal, probably I will just I will try those those hacks. Like you jot down your month here, and then you have your important dates on the right. So basically, you will have all the horizontal lines, and on the right on the left, you can jot down the month, and then on the right is your to do or important date or birthday anniversary, etc. Those dates on the right. I've seen it all around the bullet journal community, so I would like to give it a try. Um, instead of just simply jotting down the month, I would like to try that out. And then the second page is my index. I have task, I have completed, completed, moved, and urgent. Actually, I don't use them at all. <laughs> now, as you can see, um, this is my most recent page. I all using I just use the rectangle no no, no um triangle <laughs> so yeah I don't do that at all but yeah whatever um one thing about 
one good thing about bullet journal is you can always change your mind. You can always change your style. You can always change your pages. You just need to do it at the end and then just write down the number in here. Make sure you check it out. So you, you can just basically change it all the time. Anyway, um, this is my quotes page. I have the quote from Big Fish, my favorite movie. And then um, I have like two conversation between um, the main actress and the main actor. I don't know, I just love Big Fish, Big Fish so much. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend that you see it. It just, I don't know, it's like a fantasy word for me. I love it. Anyway, so I just shut down some quotes from the movie and I doodle a little bit. And then goes to my page four and page five. So this is my reading log. Um, now actually I'm reading the third book. The second book, I just can't finish it. I don't know why. I just can't finish it. So I just move on to my third book. It's better to check um, what books that I'm reading all the time in here and then this is my doodle page i just decorate the page with some of my favorite washi tape so i just wrote up washi tapes in here and i put so basically this um in this notebook or bullet journal whatever you want to call it it comes with two bookmarks um so i use the first one to um indicate this doodle page because I doodle a lot in my bullet journal like no matter it's monthly, weekly or daily um, so sometimes I just my mind is out of order or my mind is empty um, I need to get some inspiration or some examples, doodle examples and I do plans a lot so um, that's the time that I would um, go back to this page to have a look and yep start over again on my new pages so this is kind of like my inspiration page so that's why i have this bookmark all the time um, sticking here flip over this is literally my first entry this is the um weekly in july from july 10th to july 16th so as you can see it's pretty messy i love messy layout but of course this this page is not the one that i like the most um actually do i have the one that i like the most maybe i don't but yeah it looks just kind of messy and i just want to try out different you know layouts and i use different printouts and this um printout is from johanna um her vintage linen printout um like well, digital files and you just need to purchase it and download it and just print them out you can adjust the size as well so it's just so beautiful um you know i just put it in here add some colors and yep it's just beautiful and i also download some most of my pictures are from pinterest um Yep, I just download pictures from Pinterest. Um, just put your your keywords like animals, plants, doodles, and forest, nature, things like that. So yeah, I just search tons of pictures and I download them and then I just print it out. Um, so basically, I just shut down what I'm doing and some quotes here and there and yep, doodles and washi tapes. So this one is like um, Monday and in between the two days I have a little quote in here I believe and I decorated with those flower die cuts from Maggie Holmes I believe and I did try to, to use different um, color pen to jot down the things I want to buy um, if it's all related sometimes I jot down in you know notes in Chinese and <laughs> yep things like that and then like I said this one is my weekly so this one is my daily so this one and just jot down the things I want to do so I have a to-do list here this sticker is from Marianne I will link her as the shop down below she is amazing she is an amazing illustrator I love her so much um this is the actually it was a 
print. It was a, an art print, but unfortunately the seller didn't wrap it in a nice way. <laughs> um, that wasn't a pleasure, pleasant, um, how can I say, pleasure experience. I have purchased twice from her. The first one is just some art prints and the second one is a pillowcase plus an art print. So the first one, the art prints comes with just up in plastic bag, not at all. <laughs> I guess just she just put the art prints in an envelope and that's it and then she ship it out. So when I get the art print, the corners are all damaged and one of the art print got water damage as well. So I was kind of like mad i don't know how can you treat your art like that i i just can't um anyway so as uh, the second time it's just because i like her cushion uh, just pillowcase um so i purchased that and i just can't couldn't control myself so i purchased another art print from her but it turns out she just put the art prints in the pillowcase which means um, she used the pillowcase to wrap it up, wrap the art prints all together. And of course, the pillowcase is not sturdy enough um, because it will move, right? The, the corners are moving, all the folders are moving, the folding area are moving. So ended up the art print is like disaster. Um, I left a message, but she would never reply. Uh, so I decided to what well, um, I wouldn't purchase anymore. So I just cut all the little doodles from the art print, and I make it. I turn it into a sticker, apparently, and it looks it looks okay. Um, yep, that's how I do those damaged art prints. I found a new way. Anyway, another pictures from Pinterest. Washi tape. This is. Um, I use my Tombow pen. Um, yep, and I have. Do I have quote? Um, here's just emotion, mood, saying, and a lot of doodles. Like I said, I got. I've got a lot of inspiration from um, Stanley Rose. Make sure you check her out. And then this postcard actually is from one of my other. Um, she includes this beautiful, beautiful collage postcard, or maybe just a uh, paper. Um, in her package, um, it's from it's from Paper and Paris. Um, I just love it so much. At the back, I just have a little plant that she also included in this parcel, and then this is my oh, how can I get into it? Okay, so this is my Tuesday. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So this is my Tuesday, and then I have also I have some to do doodles and stickers and this is um a craft paper i guess it's a stamp from um paper in paris i i love it so much so i just tear it up or tear it down <laughs> and then stick it in here so yeah some moody stuff again here and there a lot of doodles and, um this is my next page. I guess I have this processing page on my YouTube channel. Yes, I do. I will link it down below if you are interested. I also do them do some doodles and I have some um, deck of flowers, more pictures, some quotes, stickers from my shop and washi tape. Um, sticky notes, like I said, more washi tape and a sticker from my shop as well. <laughs> And yep, um, in here, instead of using the Tombow to kind of like jot down the dates, I use Tombow as a background color, um, brush pen, you know, um, and then I just jot down the dates on top of the brush pen. Um, that's how it is. And then this is the Wednesday. Um, apparently, I skipped Monday, Tuesday, so this is a Wednesday. So like I said, if you don't feel like to, to to do a spread, to do a page, you can totally skip those. You are not required to do anything in your bullet journal. So mostly this bullet journal is like flexible to help you um, not be procrastinating, not be procrastinated, <laughs> or not be, you know, like do it last minute or, or force you to like, you have to do it because you have a bullet journal whatsoever, no. 
um, this bullet journal you can last forever you can last like two years or you can finish it in, in like half year um, it really depends on how many future logs that you have how many lists that you have how many daily pages daily thought pages that you have how many monthly or yearly pages that you have so you can you are totally free in this bullet journal and you are it's totally flexible it's totally for your convenience that's why i love bullet journal <laughs> right now um so this is wednesday july 19 i just shut down hair eyes somehow uh, i don't know it was inspired by an artist i forgot his name i will drag it down in the description box um i also find found his work on no it's on instagram actually i follow him i guess i follow the artist and then here's my to-do list and this one is like i guess another another um like mind thing or quote more doodles here more stickers from my shop and here is um the monthly box that i got from mitts so i just jot down um the quote that i like uh, pictures from Pinterest, uh, just some nude color um, outfit. <laughs> I like it, simplicity. Um, washi tape and stickers from um, <clears throat> Stationery Selection monthly box, S same as the Miss uh, My Love Miss box monthly box. Doodles, washi tape, same old, same old. Um, this is Thursday though. Um, this Wednesday, Thursday. So, this is saturday oh i skipped friday as well so this is thursday i used tons of flower theme in here as you can see like animals as well flowers from from my shop and flowers washi tape from empty flowers from my shop as well and i took this picture on another day and i turned the color a little bit and i printed out and i just used my uh white gel pen to kind of like circle outline the circle outline the you know the curve and i doodle a little bit doodle here um, my to-do list is right here um i want to buy grocery so i have the grocery list like a little bit and yeah another uh, quote from marriage <laughs> and i also doodle on top of the washi tape as well and it works so good <laughs> And then here's my to-do list, like a master to-do list. So basically, I am going to open an online shop. I will have another announcement video of it. And this is my life goal, like my dream. Um, so that's why I think it's kind of important for me. So I have those like to-do lists and um, things I need to do, things uh, to do every day or whatever um, here in my bullet journal. So those are the things I need to do. First of all, I need to <clears throat> get a business number, business license, GST number, and get the, what is it called? Like import license or something in case my package get locked up in the custom. Um, and then I need to apply a domain and order something, supplier and things like that. So yeah, those are things I need to do. So I just basically jot it down and I have like a big title to the list. <laughs> okay so this is my another weekly from 24th to 30 almost the end of july so as you can see my whole july it's like this it's not too much but yeah i just write amount of pages that's the pages the number of pages that i i feel comfortable with um so like i said just follow your mind follow your heart um do it whenever you want to do don't do it if you feel tired or not too inspired or all sort of excuses so yeah just don't do it if you don't want to do no one pushes you no one force you you will see tons of pages like that um, later anyway um this is the july i use my zebra brush brush pen to jot down the month and then uh white gel pen to highlight do some highlighting washi tape um judo stickers from my shop monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday all to-do lists this uh 
sticker from my shop, washi tape, doodle, and I took this on the other day. So I just print it out, turn the color and print it out. Yeah, pretty simple, just similar, um, similar layout, similar doodle, similar styles. So this is the first like ever blank page that I've ever came across. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel, I don't like the layout. I don't like the color collage. I don't like the washi tape somehow. And here is just, you know, the rounding from my next page. I don't know what to do about it. So I just leave it blank. Yeah, I just leave it blank. I know, I don't know why. I swear that I wanted to go back, but I never did. <laughs> So basically for the last week of July, I only have the weekly spread. I don't have any daily. I tried to do it, but I fell. And I'm not sure if you can see from here. Actually, I doodle at the back, but I changed my doodle. So basically I tried to draw um, flowers and leaves, but that was a disaster. I just don't know how to draw flowers. I need to learn more from a uh, tutorial. Um, so I just changed my mind. I doodle on another paper, some linen paper that I've got online. Um, so I just doodle on those papers and I use watercolor, just shut down my pencil pouch, my bags and sweaters and dresses and I doodle some um, plants and I have a little, not little, a big circle and indicate August in here and big leaves, of course. Um, I am pretty satisfied with this. And yeah, I kind of like doodle and all the shadowing. I'm still learning shadowing. So yep, I like those shadowing here and there. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied, I'm pretty happy with this. And here actually is, the layout was inspired by Jenny Journals. I will link her video down below or, um, or you know, YouTube channel down below. So I have this important dates section. I have bring them section, which I like the most. You will see a lot in September. And I use washi tape from Mitt's um, monthly kit. And this is the um, stickers from my shop. And flip over, you will know that I will uh, skip this important dates in September. And I will let you know why. And then at the back is my expenses checker. Here is some washi tape clutch. And here is another um, calendar, monthly calendar for August. Um, this is inspired by Journey, Journey Study. Um, I, will, I forgot her name. I will link her YouTube channel down below. She always includes um, those little tiny calendars in her monthly spread. So I just decorated with washi tape and stickers. Looks so cute. I love it so much. I actually love this calendar. So that's why I kind of like ditch this one because it's duplicated for me. Um, even though I said it's important dates section, but still I can always write on my important dates in my calendar. So if I use this, I don't want to apply the same thing on this calendar. It's kind of like waste of the spaces so finally i decided to oh i will just get rid of those and make something else for next month um so yep this is the monthly calendar for august i just want to say there's so many amazing amazing youtuber on on youtube those planner are amazing their planner the bullet journals are oh i just i i would just never get tired of watching those videos anyway flip over I have to say August is my most laziest month ever. <laughs> this is like the, f I don't even, even know what it, I don't even jot down the date, but I just like simply decorate the page. Like this is my to-do list and I just don't have the feeling to do it anymore. And I guess August was the time that I've got my, what? My other journals, like those Midori MD, other planners like that. So I kind of like leave it aside, ditch it, uh, put it aside for a while. And this is the last week of August, actually. Um, I don't even finish those days. I feel really bad. Um, yeah, I feel really bad. So in September, um, this is September, I 
try to encourage myself, hey, you gotta do more, you gotta do more. And so far, so good. Um, I like it. I like it very much. So basically, um, for September, I have this like darker color um, theme and flower theme. So this flower actually inspired by Phoebe. Um, I will link her Instagram down below. Um, her illustration is fantastic. And then I've got some inspir inspiration from all of my vintage books. They have tons of beautiful illustration. That's why I have I have doodled those flowers and such in this weekly. So first of all, I have this page printed uh, from Pinterest. It's from the Christy Dawn Jess. Um, I just love the brand so much. So I just um, downloaded it and printed it out and stuck it in here. Another quote, and here is my goal page. You can see here. So basically, this is um, my monthly goals. I just jot it down in here. And then is my weekly. Um, I have four weeks in here from the first to the 30. And for each week, I assign myself some task. Okay, so next page is the notes bring them section. Like I said, I like it quite a lot. So in August, I have the same thing in here, but um, it's too small for me. It's too small. So I have this huge page right now. I doodle like the circle. So I am using a lot of sticky notes because I don't know. I just like to add different colors maybe. And yeah, I just using some sticky notes in here. And this is my master to-do list about my shop. And of course, a lot more doodles some plan to those and yep those are the to-do list that I have to do for my online shop and then flip over is my join page I recently recently edited this in my bullet journal because I just have want to have a page talks about join talks about different media so this one is the go awake <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it is different from um, watercolor neither acrylic um it's kind of like, like medium thickness between watercolor and and acrylic i like it so much it has such pigmented um touch and but it's not as thick as acrylic it's not like you can't fix it or you can it's dry fast or something it just lasts forever and the color is just so much fun to play those so i have this like practice page practice drawing page and something about goic um, in here so there's no, some notes about join like practice my join and then i have my monthly calendar um, compared to the one that i have in august so this is the august one and this is the september's one um use different colors to indicate different things this one is my caucus birthday and this too is i need to you know pay when i need to pay my rent i need to pay my seven plan and etc and I doodle a little bit and I put a little um, baby breath, dry flowers here to, you know, for the decoration. And yeah, those are the things I have done so far. Today is the Wednesday. No, 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 today is the Tuesday. So yeah. <laughs> Going to the next. Um, so this is like a travel page. I'm not sure if you know this. I, I mentioned it on my Instagram. I went on a vacation last weekend i mean this uh yeah last weekend like two days ago so i just sat down on the branch um and then just drew this house by myself i just took like you know 10 minutes to um try the draft and yeah i just you know just play around and doodle it it's like a memory for me also my husband of course my husband grew up there not grow up there but he visited this cabin like a lot since he was a child so it has a lot of um, memories for for him and both of us and yeah we spent our first one time stay over there but we didn't have the key so it was you know it was winter and we like frozen sitting on the deck but yeah that was amazing that was interesting you know some funny memory to remember and then I have the picture from Pinterest again, and I use um, washi tape and I grab, I save this dry plant um, on the way home. I doodle a little bit and here just talk about 
um, we had fun with uh, David's friend Steve-O and his girlfriend Julia. They are super nice. And I use more die cuts, washi tape, and this is Tombow and a quote here. So that's basically how I spent my last Saturday and Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So uh, yeah, two days ago. It was amazing. I like it so much. Um, flip over. Is my weekly. I haven't finished this spread yet. As you can see, there's a lot of empty spaces in here. Um, I would like to go back in a minute later. Um, maybe doodle a little bit more. Maybe I will just jot down quotes. Maybe I have some future plan that I need to fill out. So I will leave those spaces blank so far. And yeah, that's the last page. And yeah, I really like it. So I have the second bookmarks in here. Just indicate my weekly. And also for next month, probably, because this month I will just, I will still stick with um, flora theme. And this month, but for next month, I would like to try those minimalist theme. I don't know. I won't, I never really go minimal, but I like minimal. Um, I don't know. It's kind of complicated between minimal and me. <laughs> we have a complicated relationship. So basically, bullet journal is like, um, I don't know, it's a fun thing to, to do on daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, or yearly basis. You can flexibly change your content, you can flexibly change anything in your bullet journal. The order, the pages, the doodle, the style, anything. So a little notebook with tons of possibilities that's why i love it so much so this is how i've got so far not too much but i still in love my bullet journal still do more bullet journal plan with me video if you guys feel like to watch more and i i'm in love with them i'm in love with them um i will try to make more diy video if you have something that you want me to make or you want to see me to make <laughs> um please leave a comment down below I love you guys. I love you so much. I just, uh, I'm really appreciated of your followers. Follow my little Instagram, little YouTube channel to see me like rambling. You guys are all so awesome. Yeah, I love you guys. Stay awesome. I love you. See you next time. Bye.